Hi guys, it's December 2nd and they're having Christmas in the Ville. They have it every year. And we have Gleis. Rosie, you're not the only one that has Gleis in your town. There's a little Christmas tree stand. You can buy a Christmas tree. It's 55 degrees out, guys. I just have a sweatshirt on. So I thought I'd walk up to him. Yeah, they're having Christmas in the Ville. They're having crafts in different stores in the town. They have glass for the kids. Isn't that nice? This town's doing a lot better with their activities for kids. Over there, there's Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Gingerbread man and a Christmas tree. Look how they did the arch here going down to the parking lot. It's nice. Oh, we got a little gingerbread house here. Welcome to the candy store. <laughs> Help yourself to some candy and a craft, and please be considerate of others. Oh, how cute. Isn't that nice for the kids? They have candy. And even bags for the candy, and then they have little crafts that the kids can make. Oh, how nice! That is so cute. Aww, that's adorable. They got their windows decorated. She put it on Facebook. Oh, where'd Snowman go? Shoot, I missed him. I wanted to zoom in. There he is, in front of Home Pizza. It's the first place I worked. <laughs> There's a Christmas tree. Let me zoom in. There's a Christmas tree and a gingerbread man and a frosty snowman <laughs> walking down the street. That's adorable. I guess they have, an or not antiques, but crafts up here in this uh, old building. It's for lease. Today, but yeah, it's, the temperature is beautiful. It's supposed to get up to 58. Excuse me, honey. I don't know if it will, but it's nice out right now. I'm not complaining. Oh, I wonder if I can find that toy that Jessica was looking for. Oh, Pumpkin Festival. You know, all kinds of goodies to eat. Mm. Pies, cherry, coconut cream, apple peach, Reese's. Oh, nice. And they're taking holiday cookie orders. Oh, this is really nice. There's some knitting or crocheting. Uh, um, shoot. Just do a blank. Nino. Nino could probably tell you if that's crochet or knitting. <laughs> oh, that's cute. High State Buckeyes. That's adorable. <laughs> Help us help our veterans. Nice. Oh, Dwayne's been up here. Jewelry. Hello, how are you? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that was you. Mike, how you doing? <laughs> oh, I like your uh, cast iron. Nice. Mike was the maintenance man in my old apartment before I moved in the house. You have to stop by sometime to see it. I got flooring laid down, you get it all walls painted. It's all yeah, yeah, yeah. well, you know. There's always something to do, oh, yeah. but 
the downstairs is done pretty much. I haven't worked started on the upstairs yet. <laughs> but project. it'll get oh yes, yeah. It'll get done. I have one I found one of these in the basement too. If you wanna stop by and grab it up. Take care of that. Yeah, I used to cook with them. I don't do it anymore. Why? It's just me. I don't know why. <laughs> no excuse, really. It's I know. I know. So All that other stuff inside the pots and pans can cause, you know, nasty stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's way better for you to use cast iron, but I don't know. Hello. <laughs> this is your wife's paparazzi. Oh, he's got a He's got a customer. Yeah, it says paparazzi. His wife sells paparazzi on Facebook. <laughs> it's good talking to you, Mike. You too. You take care. Okay. She's got a lot of paparazzi. She's got a little... He built her a little, uh, like, shed that um, she sells it out of in their backyard. Because it's just got to be too much for, to have it in the house. You see all kinds of people when you live in a small town. I swear they have more crafts here than they had in the gym during Conquer Festival. Christmas calories don't count. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. It's only 30 bucks too. Good prices. So we got candles down that way. We got... Uh, apple butter? Oh, look at the floor. Look at the... Welcome, Matt. If you forgot the wine, go home. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's a good one. Pennsylvania Dutch foods. And the cute sippy cups. <laughs> SpongeBob. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Our Christmas parade uh, is soon. I gotta look. I screenshotted it from Facebook. Oh, that's cute right there. That wouldn't be hard to make either. I screenshotted the date and time. I just have to look. So I don't miss it, but it's at night, and they they like the semi trucks will be all lit up with uh, all lit up with uh, Christmas lights. Yeah. Mm. Thought I was near candles. I could smell them. Smelly good. Well, if Marcy knew this was going on, she probably would have stayed last night. Her and I got, gave Vicky a bath yesterday. Her other son, Sean's in from Tennessee. He came in two days ago, and he's leaving um, Monday. Don't milk soap. That's good soap. Single bars, five bucks. We don't have a welcome at our door because we're not liars. Aww. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought that was a real dog. <laughs> I bet you hear that a lot, huh? <laughs> Oh, there's a kitty, too. I have two kitties. Okay. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> Do you? Nice. Yeah. Two cats, three dogs. Aw, awesome. <laughs> Buckeyes. Buckeyes are good. Oh, these gray blankets. Uh, 
Okay, I wonder what else there is to see. Besides the lights, well, the lights, you can see them, but they're not as pretty as they would be at night. Look at the elves. Eat, shop, support, local. I just can't believe how nice it is outside. I should be home painting that other wall I put up in the bathroom, that temporary wall. Still gonna paint it. Even though it's not gonna stay up. What? Who knows how long it'll stay up? Oh, look. I like the old timey stuff. The old timey Santa. That's so cool. Big old Coca-Cola sign, that's cool. Oh, that's the Johnson family pottery. They always have a, a pot a pottery and a, a pot. For the Punkin Festival, you, should, you can buy uh, raffle tickets to buy. All items in this window are for sale. Well... Another old timey Santa. Oh, look at Kitty. That pillow's cute with the buttons. That truck's cute too. There's the barrel house over there. He's talking about how they did this little front place where you can sit. This used to be Hallmark. Now it's Avenues. Same stuff in there, though. I'm going to cross up here and go back down because I don't think there's anything up that way. Now I can show you the front of the barrel house. Yeah, the barrel house is a nice restaurant bar i've filmed in there before um good food reasonable price and they have like sandy was saying open mic karaoke dwayne was telling me about it so I had to go up there. maybe one day i'll go up and film it depends <laughs> on my mood this is one of our drug stores been here since i was in uh, high school, Cheffy Drugs. Then we have a uh, corner pharmacy. That's where I get my stuff from. They're supposed to stop for you. <laughs> I always give them a thank you wave when they do. They put a cross. They put a light in the crosswalk up, on up, and they put one in out at. Uh, the high or not the high yeah the high school by McDonald's. It's a main street barrel house. See he put up this little which is really nice. It only has like what two tables, but Sandy said he'd come out here and smoke instead of standing on the street. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Little patio. They have things that's here for sale, but probably not the same. I guess I'll go in and do a quick walk of, and run into somebody else and, and uh, chat a bit. Oh, look at that rocking chair. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's adorable. Now, see, that's something I would use every Christmas till it wore out. That's what I'm still doing for you. Well, my mom doesn't do 
How are you doing today? Take that at Does ladders do the, um, this one mostly? Oh, that's a good idea right there. Wired on with a couple staples in it, you can pop them. You can make that one anything you want. I put my quilts on it. Yeah, my daughter has one. My daughter has one like that. That's her quilt. Yeah. Makes them nice. Very nice. So you get to use it through the season and then afterwards it's kind of like you can still use it. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Those are nice. Thank you. Mommy's favorite color, the lilac. And this you can walk across to the bar. Yeah. Somebody's getting ready to play. And this is the barrel house. Well, maybe I might see Dwayne in here, but no. <laughs> he said something about going back down to the casino. Oh, I'm not going to film towards that. <laughs> Yeah, he said something about going to the casino, so that's probably where he's at. That's a nice place to eat and have a beer or a glass of wine. Are you able to take debit cards? No, I can do cash, check, or Venmo, uh, or PayPal. I don't have any of that stuff. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. How long, what, are you guys going to be here again tomorrow, or just today? No, but we're here tonight through like 8 o'clock, I think. Okay. So we'll be here all the way through the parade. Okay. On parades tonight? Yeah. Thanks. I wasn't sure when it was. Yeah, I think tonight, and there was a little bit of debate whether it's at 5 or 5.30, but it's, I know it's around that time. Okay. So, yeah, but we'll be here open through the parade. Okay, thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the parade's tonight. I have to come up and watch it. Let it snow, let it snow. And finally, she's good enough. I hate going out in the snow. And I see Sandy, I see her all the time on Facebook. <laughs> we'll try to buy her. Some stuff. Harvey De Niro sings this song really well. Harvey De Niro, he lives in London. He uh, comes on Rosie's channel once in a while. He's a really good singer. It's our new dentist. Come into the Hyatt Hillsville. This used to be an old bank in town, the old Bradford building. Now it's a, a clinic. It's where my doctor is, my, what's it, primary. Primary physician. Bradfield's helped establish the town. A lot of history. I don't know when it was built. There's a thing in here. I don't know if they're open. What is today? Saturday? Oh, they're probably not open. 
Nope, not open on Saturday, but they have a, I'll have to pick one up. They have a uh, printout in here that tells all about the Bradford building. Look at that tree. It tells when it was uh, built and all that good stuff. I'll have to pick one up. And they've torn down buildings. And most of the town have to. Oh, look at this. She's got. She got. <laughs> she got. <laughs> she got a. I keep thinking those cars are turning. Go, Charlotte. She's got the eyelashes on her car and her nose. But yeah, the town was all in uproar because they tore down these old historic buildings. This was an old corner restaurant where everybody ate. When mom and dad was growing up, when we were growing up, it's called Patrick's. A lot of memories in there for a lot of people. And then the old veterinary was next to it. And oh, first, right next to it was an antique store, excuse me. Then it was a veterinary vet office. And uh, one guy on council, council tried to save it. I went to school with him too. He tried to save it, but to no avail. So they tore it down, said they're gonna put up a parking lot, like the song. <laughs> and what does this town need with a parking lot? So I'm thinking, yeah, they're gonna put up a parking lot and then they're gonna have more vendors here for, for uh, Punka Festival and make more money. Punka Festival. There's that. There's that. Oh my gosh. Can't think of the name. Jeez, Charla. Anyways, you seen them earlier. <laughs> In the craft place. Oh my gosh, I drew a blank. Anyways, uh, yeah, they, they charge like 800 some dollars or something outrageous to vend here. That's why Jessica never came. Because the clientele she would have here. There's the home pizza, my first job. Um, she wouldn't make a lot of money. It wouldn't be worth, worth it. So that's what they're thinking. I know the town, that's what they're thinking there for the people in the town. They're thinking they, they have that parking lot and uh, they'll get more vendors for Punka Festival and they'll be able to make more money. And then every year, Dwayne says, all that money they made at the Punga Festival, because they tell how much they make. And uh, what are they doing with it? They're not doing anything with it. <laughs> He's always bitching about that. Still working on the State Theater. One of these days. There's a video I made going in there, too, if you want to check that out. It's nice they play the Christmas music downtown. I'll give them that. But, yeah, I don't really care for this town. A lot of people don't. You got to have a certain name, you know. If your name, if your last name isn't a certain name, they, uh, you have a hard time in this town. It's one of them type of towns. I'll show the skaters one more time, then I'm gonna get on with my day. I need to go to the store and get some things. The cats are out of snacky treats. Gotta have their snacky treats. <laughs> so little Kiri's been going, running around with Eli. I forget to pick her up before I open the door to let him out. She just runs out the door and he watches her. I'll stand out on the back porch and watch them because the leaves are falling so I can see all over the, the forest. <laughs> this is where I got that feather. Anyways, uh, yeah, little Kiri will just jump all through the forest with uh, <laughs> the jungle. The jungle, that's what I call it. With uh, Eli, and Eli will watch him make sure he comes back and and i can just get him back instantly if i go out and shake the snacky treat bag or i take uh, some tuna out and put bang the, the spoon on the side of the can because that's the signal 
for to come and get tuna. <laughs> and he comes, she comes right back. Look, here he comes right back. It's so cute. I'll have to film it. Nutcracker. Nutcracker. I couldn't remember that for life. There's the glyce. Oh, I see how they lay that down. It's just like them big block things and they connect together. You know they make those now? I think it was, was Timu. I got some, a few things off of Timu for our photo shoot. We did the witches photo shoot for Halloween. That's on my channel. You want to check it out. Anyways, they make those things now. You know, they're foam on the bottom. Like the kids have in the playroom. They're different colors and they walk together like that. Like puzzle pieces. Well, now they have them. I saw on Timu. They have them. Or however you pronounce that. So. They're the foam underneath. They lock together. And they're carpet on top. So you can lay it down on the floor. I thought that'd be cool for upstairs. Probably be a lot cheaper than uh, carpeting it in that little room. But I don't know. I think I'm, I still want to redo that oak floor in that little room. That'll be the only floor I redo. <laughs> and just put a pretty rug in there. My bedroom really needs uh, a rug or carpeting. I don't like carpeting though. But something like that would be cool because it's high enough to put down in front of the bed because when I get out of bed in the morning first off I sit on the edge of the bed put socks on because when I put my feet on that floor it's kind of chilly so that would be nice just to have like a I'll have to check out the price I didn't go on and look at it it just came up in the, my feed on the Facebook So what is the tra oh yeah it is the it is the wood what is it wood fired pizza not wood fired I can't get it <laughs> that's the only food truck I see down there is the the pizza yeah wood fired right wood fired pizza. Yeah, it's the only food truck down there. I don't know where she was talking about the other food trucks. I didn't know there were any other. Somebody did a mural. My son Jed used to work in a coal mine before he got on with gas and oil. I was always worried about him. But that's where the money is. you guys enjoyed this and uh, hope you have a, an awesome rest of your Saturday. I'll have to come up and film a little bit of the parade tonight. And everyone take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.